Previously. In the zip tie that I put around it went up in the intake and just locked it lower. Three-eighths of a mile service. Back again. Karen. So it's been a year to date, right? The last time we were here, we chucked belts, we locked up the blower, we uh, broke the blower, had to take the blower apart, hand sand the rotors down. We got a brand new rotor pack ported. Whipple's still on board helping me out. Best we've gotten still is 9 1 out of the car, but we got a couple goodies here. We got a brand new motor. Last year I put a new motor together and it failed in under a minute. So we got a brand new motor this time. Made a little bit more power. We're gonna go, man. It's been a year, and it's been a lot. A lot I cannot even tell you how exhausted I am. I can imagine. Last time you pulled the wheels. Yeah, yeah. We need to do the deed, and I think by the end of the day, we're gonna get it. Gonna so, get it sure. this is our first shakedown run. We'll see how it pans out. Tighten the suspension. A little leak there. Uh, because that was the problem. Put the, too the, long. These are supposed to be blind. No, it was blown through. Yeah. It blew through. It was going up so around. So three there. of them were just open holes on the outside oh, of the gas. Well, there's a problem. Yeah, yeah. now they're stuck. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you were here to let well, me hey, know. Man. <laughs> Let me tell you something. That's it. <laughs> the sending unit gasket was leaking. We're going to drop the tank twice. We're not leaking gas anymore, so we're taking a little bit of launch RPM out of it, and uh, we'll see what happens. Let's do this. Natural habitat. Dude, that's <laughs> messed that up. Like the that's messed up because you've been in there all day. <laughs> <laughs> the what? Ever. There's no video evidence of that. Yeah. So. Let's see how this is gonna go. Okay. 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 <laughs> Give her a couple of quail oats. I've been battling this car for three years. 
Nobody's ever been 950s. We went 950s. Nobody's ever been bottom nines. We went 91. For the last two years, I've been the fastest IRS six speed blower only car in an 03 Cobra. I am set to go eights in this car. In the last pass, the draggy said 898 going across the finish line. I am so stoked. And then to give me the slip, and it's 906. Ah. Boy, we got work to do. So we just eliminated a heat exchanger, give us some more flow through the intercooler system. And uh, we probably picked up four or five gallons a minute out of that. Two bags of ice. Let's do it, man. I don't know. Not to mention a little bit of weight off it. Yeah, taking the heat exchanger out of the front, the fans, everything. We probably just took 30, 40 pounds off the nose of the car. So, dude, we're going to get it. We're going to get it. This has got to go. This has got to go. Hopefully, I got some draggy footage for you. Good deal. Good deal. Let's get it. Yep. I was there for eight, but Dan, uh, Dan ended up running and getting his number in the other lane. Gosh, that's so amazing. 86 or like 160 something. I don't even know what it was. By 10. Here's with, your slip. With a blower. 886, 160 and a half. <laughs> that is amazing. If you bought a Cobra in 2003, it came with a blower, a six speed, and an IRS. No one has gone eights ever, except for this guy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, oh. Oh. That's a goal. Sit. Sit. Woo. Yeah, Good I job, bud. No, I was. That's oh, a good time to sell it. Dang, you rode it out. So, in the moment, on the high. Huh? In the moment, on the high. Yeah. Shout outs. Well, we got Whipple top. We got a Gen 5 Whipple on here, 3 liter. G Force axles. It's supposed to have a magic clutch, but right now it's got a black magic slipper in it. So, if you want to party, that's the way to party. We got 142, 60 foot out of it. It's going to go into 130s. We got a lot going on here. Gary Granger, advanced airflow cylinder heads, did the motor, the heads, all of it. Gary's the man. Dude, this is surreal. We've been trying for two years to get this car to do this. I've owned it for 10. Yeah? 
Here we are, man. Jacked up on Mountain Dew. What was it, 60? 142. Woo, there's so much left. There's there, so much man. left. <laughs> so much left. All uh, right. Was it worth? Yeah. Was it worth the 20 plus hour drive? Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, what? 60 hour drive because we've been here three times from Cleveland to Florida and, and not done it. And the thing, man, so. this is in like some real crummy DA right now. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of like it's a normal, this is a normal Ohio summer night, so. Yeah. Yeah. Like humidity and the dew's like all up all, all on point, so. Yeah. Yeah, man. Whoo! Yeah. Boy. Here we go. Y'all sticking with this, man. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, they flew down from Ohio. <laughs> Y'all flew all the way from Ohio? Yeah. yeah. Oh, felt like a good team. So Joe came with me to SCT Indy back in 21, and the alternator caught on fire. We never made a lick. We threw two belts on both time runs, yep. drove the Indy for nothing. And then last year we did this, he flew down. We battled blower belts, serpentine belts, blower. alternator failures, the blower locked up when the zip tie got sucked up in the blower through a race inlet. Whipple turned the blower around for us, got me a new, new rotor pack, new port work. Dude, there are so many people gone so deep in this car. Hell yeah. <laughs> Cloud nine, man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at that smile. Hey, <laughs> Alright, be great. You've been the homie. You've been down with the man. Yes, sir. What's your thoughts? I, I, I don't even know what to say, man. I'm just so happy for him. You know, dude busts his ass and. Like he's already said in the video, the last two years, man, he's been real, working really hard at this, and no one deserves it more than him. So, badass. Tip my hat to him, man. He deserves it. Good deal. So, Good deal. Hell yeah. Hopefully, we, I mean, 142, 60 foot. There's more in this thing, and if we get the chance, we're gonna try to keep going with it. So, hell yeah. Yeah. Good so, deal. Good deal. Hey. Well, man, I'm happy for you. Hell yeah. No, I'm happy. All right. Yeah, it's good. Come. Hey. Hey. Right. Right. <laughs> he's already right. coming up with the rest. Hey. What are we doing, Dan? What are we doing, Dan? Why you got that look? It's gonna be strictly Whipple. Boost and juice, baby. Boost and juice. Apparently, we just went to 886. Apparently, a twin turbo IRS six speed car has only been 873. What was that? That's what I heard. 873. There's a possibility tonight we could take the fastest IRS 6 speed, period. Not just blower, first turbo. I don't know, I might be putting Nick Shortridge on notice. Like, let's right now. Let's so, let's see. We'll see how this pans New out. New sheriff in town. Yeah, we'll see. We're going to try something. What up, dude? What we doing, bud? We're going eights. Again? I mean, ain't nothing to do with what you're doing, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what to do with my hand. <laughs> well, you're trying to set the overall, aren't you? I, the overall would be pretty sweet. We'll see how that goes. What's the overall? Eight, eight. Hey, what's the overall? What's the overall? 873, I think. Mr. Shortridge, Mr. Mucinex. Yeah. <laughs> what up, baby? <laughs> Truth be told, Nick Shortridge is actually one of the reasons I have this combo. After I saw his magazine, like, eight years ago about the 1500 horsepower irs car i was like that's sweet i want to do that so i've been watching i got video of me and mod nats years ago sitting on stage line between him and yandro like dude that's bucket list stuff but uh yeah where we're at right now i never thought it would ever get to this but i guess that's what addiction is like you said you'd never do it but, you, you know this car practically drags his nuts on the ground right oh yeah yeah yep and hopefully it drags nick's nuts oh! Oh! scooter on this little I've, RC car. I've got to stand behind it.
like 192, you know, uh, ITs, you know, going through the traps of the, when it ran that eight second pass. A little hot, thinking the pump might be going out or something, or might not be getting the right voltage. So they're, they're, they're testing a the theory on some wiring right now. Uh, if that's not it, it might be a core stopped up or something, who knows. But um, successful night out last night, got some good passes in. They're working on the car. We're going to be doing some test and tune and hopefully drive that uh, number a little bit deeper. So without further ado, let's get it. doing in 20 seconds just 20 seconds let's go i got 17. my name's dan i'm from cleveland i like two-step tests and fast cars and gary's my friend and he's from alabama and my mom bought me these skeleton gloves so i guess that's what i'm gonna race with because mama knows best so perfect go back as fast all right he just went, he went to A62. Yeah! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! What was the 60? I don't know, I have no slip. What? I went, I turned right off the track, there's no one at the booth, so my buddy Joe just went to go get a slip. Oh, I heard it, I, I was listening no for it. And I was like, oh, I thought you had slipped on the on the uh, line. And then he said, 862, and once he's going, like, holy shit. I was like, yeah, it, it, it broke loose, and I let out and pedaled it. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to make a lick anyway to see how they're. So I got back in it. Dude, it's probably a 160 Holy foot. shit. There's no way it's 60 foot. Here. I figured it was garbage pass. I just wanted to make a lick. Tell us about your boy, Dan. Think, uh, it was like 20 seconds on him. What's his favorite color, you know, preferred IPA or whatever? Oh, he don't like IPAs, I'll tell you that. What? Nobody likes IPAs. Dan, oh, I like IPAs. Oh. Um, Dan's favorite color is apparently yellow. Zinc yellow, Cobra, <laughs> as you can see. Um, he's colorblind. Banana. But you can see the zinc yellow. Right, Dan? Yep. <laughs> yep. So, Y'all been the homies for how many years? Man, four. Four. Four or five. Who be like who that. to becomes whose friend? I don't know. How did it work out, Dan? How do we do that? Cobros. We're just co it's just the Cobro connection, dude. Yeah. Cobro Cobra Cobra connection. That's like me and Zach. We, we connect no no no. It was um <laughs> local stick shift race up uh, up in Michigan. Um and we, we connected there and then after that just every anytime we'd go racing we'd just connect and just hey you going out this way, you going out that way and it was like step brothers, like we just took on best friends. Yeah, kind of in a sense and then yeah, anything stick race uh stick race related up by us we were just in contact about and then um Yeah, I don't know. We just now we're we're bros. Absolutely. Absolutely yeah. co-bros. Hey. Well, anything else, Dan? You want to add to it? No, nah, man. I just want to go fast. I just want to go fast. <laughs> <laughs> racing shattered the trains damn trans broke expensive trans faceplate of trans but luckily dan's got his diaphragm and ot56 magnum there so we're about to drop this tonight and uh be ready to go back tomorrow. That was magnetic, isn't it? Yeah, get the top oh, you can pull it all the way down? Right. I'll pull it all the way down. Uh, that would be... Well, unfortunately... Push it. Is it snapped off? Face 
base plate of trans, base plate of input shaft, otherwise we'd pull the other one out. But throw in the OG parts, synchronized transmission, and a diaphragm clutch. Got a chip draw, and I got my buddy Dan. You see, he's wearing my shirt. <laughs> so I wear his he's damn gonna, shirt. He's gonna, he's gonna burn it. I'm gonna burn gonna this burn mofo it. when I get home. It's gonna become a voodoo doll. Oh good. Oh. Solid effort, solid effort. Way to go, Dan. So Dan's still fighting IET issues. They're just skyrocketing on these passes, and they're trying to figure out why the pump doesn't get water from the tank all the way up to the front where the brick is underneath the blower. So we've tried a million different theories, and so he's gonna pull the blower and then pull the brick out of it and see uh, what the issue is. And he's actually got a bigger social media following than all of them put together. After some diagnosing, Dan found that the intercooler brick had been warped. The immense boost pressure had pulled the bolts through the holes, causing a major boost leak bypassing the brick's cooling effect. But no matter, Dan had accomplished what he had set out to do. After three years of trying, thousands of miles traveled, and countless broken parts, this Ohio boy finally clutch kicked his way to a rowing eight second pass. I'm sure if you were to ask Dan, he would say that the team behind him is what made it all worth it. Stick shift racers are a special breed, and it's the love for the struggles that few just understand. Terminators have been around for 20 years now. And to go eights, Cobra guys have chopped, swapped, and turboed these cars just to break down that eight second barrier. 
When it came to factory layout, only one man was determined to tread his own path and prove all of us wrong. And that man was Dan Watts. <laughs> Blower, a six speed, and an IRS. No one has gone eights ever, except for this guy. Shop the Google.